Hey guys, my name is Nicole. I'm 16, and I'm pretty sure that many of you hearing this hate at least one part of your body, and that's completely normal. I mean, we live in a world where it's pretty easy to get plastic surgery. You just need to see TV shows like Botched or read Twitter for a few minutes to find people wanting to change their nose, boobs, chin, etc. But none of you have a bigger problem than me. Well, at least I hope so. I have a big problem. Two, to be more accurate. I was born with something called Marfan syndrome. It's a disease that makes people extremely tall and thin. Ideal to be a model, right? Not really. It also makes your arms so long you can touch your knees while you're standing. A really disturbing image to see, I know. I live with my family in a really small town, which makes everything worse. Here, everybody knows everybody, and nothing really interesting happens. Just the 4th of July and the fair. So I'm the town's freak. All of the adults treat me with pity, and the kids run away from me out of fear. Once I was even called the Slender Man's Daughter. Having this disease is awful. I can't dress how I want to, not because I feel uncomfortable exposing my arms, but just because there's nothing girly enough that fits me. Yeah, we have children sizes, adult sizes, plus sizes, but no Marfan sizes. I can only wear extra large or large man's hoodies. Thank God at least they're comfy. But my family, they really want to help me. They never talk about it in a bad way, and they're always trying to look on the bright side of things. But they say dumb stuff that doesn't really help, like, well, you'll never have problems reaching things from the top shelf, or you can itch yourself in areas most people would only dream of. Cute, right? Not so much. High school has been rough. Everyone makes jokes about me, and I really hate it. But what I hate the most is that I disgust people. Like, real disgust. I notice how my classmates see me and nobody wants to sit close to me. Nobody wants to do homework with me. They're always avoiding me. They'd rather do it alone and it hurts. I didn't ask for this. I didn't want it. I would give anything to just be normal. You might be thinking, why don't you just go get surgery or something? Well, I can't and it's not a money issue. It's just that surgery like that doesn't exist. There's no shrinking surgery, just alternative methods used in weird countries like India and Samoa with no guarantees. Besides, people with Marfan syndrome have really weak bones and muscles, so those methods could make things even worse. Not the best tagline to sell a surgery. Everything sucked. Until I met Peter. He's amazing. He's the best guy you could ever imagine. He's always with me and never lets anybody make fun of me when he's around. I was shocked when I saw this happening. Why would anybody do that for me? At first, I was afraid. I thought he wanted something from me. But after a few months of him insisting, I agreed to be his girlfriend, and it changed my life. He encouraged me to do new things. I'd never gone to parties, the movies, or the mall as a teenager until I met Peter. Eventually, I opened myself up to him, in many ways. He spent holidays with my family, and he's really special to me. Every time we were alone, he was super horny. I wanted to have sex, too. I'm a teenager, for God's sakes. There's hormones, and they're real. I wasn't confident enough to show my body to him, but he assured me that he wanted to see me, and I kind of connected with that. Every girl wants to feel sexy. Every girl wants to be seen and sparkle in their partner's eyes. So, of course, it ended up happening. I lost my virginity to him. For the first time in my life, I felt like I could make someone happy. I was the happiest girl in the world for just a brief moment. And then he confessed that he had a fetish with my arms. It was weird. And I thought he liked me for me, but I guess in his eyes I was still a freak. It's weird, and it still got me thinking. What if he wasn't the only one? I started looking online, and I found a Reddit page with people willing to pay for pictures of girls with long arms. This is where it gets kind of weird, and please don't judge me. But I actually posted a few pictures of myself hoping that nobody would make a joke about it. But 10 minutes later, I received 20 messages asking me for kinky pictures in exchange for money. I now sell nudes online and I make almost three grand a month. Peter doesn't know anything about it and I wanna keep it that way. Even though it's weird, we're still dating. Please don't judge me. I've been through a lot and I could finally make something with my stupid arms. That's all folks, please leave comments below. Bye, see you tomorrow.